This is a Bible. I think we can all agree it is the world's most important book. And we're pretty good at teaching individual Bible stories to our kids. I bet they could all tell us the story of David and Goliath, or Daniel in the lion's den, or, or Noah's ark. We're pretty good at teaching those kinds of stories, Bible stories. What's much harder is teaching the entire story of the Bible, the entire arc of scripture, of explaining to kids why this book is so important, where it came from, why we think we can trust it, and, and what difference does it make in our lives. And that's what I set out to do when I sat down to create the series, What's in the Bible? To walk kids all the way through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, answer all their big questions, define key terms like sanctification and salvation and redemption, and, and give them a foundation for their faith in a world that is growing increasingly unfaith-friendly. As soon as the DVDs came out, we had children's ministry workers come to us and say, hey, could you turn that into a full Sunday school curriculum? I, I need activity guides and leader guides and, and questions and, and games and, and everything else that goes with a curriculum. And we thought, whew, that sounds like a lot of work, but we've done it. So I'm here to tell you about the What's in the Bible church edition that can walk your children's ministry through the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation in one year. Check it out. The What's in the Bible Church Edition is a 13-volume, 52-week curriculum that will take your children's ministry all the way through the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. Each volume contains four weeks of lessons, and each lesson contains four videos and small group activities. The curriculum was designed from the ground up for churches just like yours. You'll find new videos, activities, games, and more perfect for elementary school age kids. Here's a glimpse at the videos that your kids will enjoy from What's in the Bible. Genesis begins it all. I took a bus from Texas just to sing a song about Exodus. Boaz and Ruth have a son named Obed, who has a son named Jesse, who is the father of King David. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Read a little every day before you slumber. Cap it all off with a trip through Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. What do we mean when we say the Bible is true and trustworthy? Wait a minute. Why do different Bibles have different numbers of books? Who picked the books to be in the Bible? What's the difference between smart and wise? That's a great question. Thirty-nine kings for Israel and Judah. Thirty-nine kings, mostly nasty, mean, and rude. Three are the prophets. There ain't no fire. They're in two sections called the major. So Jesus shows up and announces that the kingdom of God is back. There will be no hunger. Bam! He feeds 5,000 people just like that. There will be no sickness. Boom! He heals people, the crippled, the blind. Whatever is broken about us is fixed the way it was supposed to be. A Pauline epistle, it's a letter, not a missile, or a thistle, or a whistle. It's a letter from Paul. He wrote on papyrus, not a tablet like Cyrus. If you're smart, you are desirous of a letter from Paul. Pretty fun, huh? Well, with the What's in the Bible Church Edition, it's not only fun for leaders and kids to learn, but it's easy and flexible to teach. The What's in the Bible Church Edition is available in two formats. The first format is the physical version. The Church Edition contains three discs. Disc one is the classroom DVD, which contains all the videos you need for the four weeks on a master DVD. You'll use this disc if you play the videos for your class in a DVD player. This disc also contains great extras, sing-along videos, a blooper reel, and walk-in, walk-out music to play at the beginning and end of your class. Disc two is the video and music clips DVD. It contains everything on disc one, but in movie and MP3 formats. You'll use this disc if you plan to show the videos through presentation software software, such as ProPresenter or PowerPoint. Disc 3 is the print materials disc. It contains all the print materials you need for the four weeks of lessons, leader guides, activity printouts, and more. You can print out as many copies as you need. The leader guides come in two formats, a PDF for you to print and use as is, as well as Word documents, which allow you to edit and customize the curriculum for your specific church context. Tweak questions, add notes for your volunteers, edit activities for time. The sky is the limit. The second way to use the What's in the Bible Church Edition is with the digital version. The digital version of the Church Edition contains everything from the physical version, but instead of using the discs, you'll use a password to download everything from an exclusive section of the What's in the Bible website. You can access this website whether your church purchased the physical or digital format. 
If you have the physical version, you'll find a password for each volume located on an insert inside the case. Once you enter the password, you'll find all the videos and print materials for each week available for download. The website will become one of your favorite things about the What's in the Bible Church Edition because it makes preparing for class and teaching so easy. Send your volunteers the password each week and they can log on and review the lessons ahead of time on their computer, phone, or tablet. The site is mobile friendly. You can lead your whole lesson from your phone or tablet. Just show the videos directly from the site, read the leader guides on the page, and print off the activities you need. So how does the What's in the Bible Church Edition work? Well, each week's lesson is broken down into four sections. Each section contains one video and one small group activity. Depending on the size of your class, you may want to utilize a large group, small group format where everyone is together to watch the video, then you break up into small groups for the activity. Each week's lesson should last around 60 minutes total. If you need to fill more time, we suggest you add in some music time at the beginning. The first video and small group activity are designed to build community in your group. The video is a fun, custom welcome video that encourages each child to share something in small group, their favorite hobby, something about their family, or, or what they did that week. Uh, leaders, you can share too. Your kids will be more likely to open up if they hear you share first. Use the included shepherding guide to record what each child shares each week and to help you as the leader remember what's going on in their lives. The second video and small group activity introduce the day's main lesson and review the previous lesson. This is usually a shorter video with a fun question and answer type activity. Because what's in the Bible encourages Bible literacy, there are times we repeat sections of video or repeat questions so kids are building on their knowledge base week after week to really learn God's Word. The third video and small group activity teach the main lesson of the day. This is usually the longest video. The activity or game looks different each week. It may be a craft, a board game, or an active game. The fourth video and small group activity are a What's in the Bible favorite. Bible What's It? The video is a fun trivia game hosted by Chester Wiggett. Your kids are encouraged to participate loudly. Then the small group time winds down the lesson with some reflective questions and time for prayer. You can send each week's Go Home card to encourage parents to discuss the day's lesson with their kids. The Go Home card is on the print materials disc and is in the Word document format, so you can easily update it with announcements about your ministry. As you begin your journey through the Bible, God's great rescue plan with What's in the Bible, we hope you find the curriculum easy to use and customize and that it instills a lifelong love of God and His Word in the hearts of the children in your ministry. Thank you for sharing your time and being a leader in your church, and God bless you as you start the What's in the Bible Church Edition.